Good morning to the both of you. It's been four weeks since I was diagnosed with Bell's palsy. You can see in this picture right here, the left side of my face completely paralyzed. I can't smile on this side. Wrinkles in my forehead are gone. The eyebrow, the cheeks, the lips completely paralyzed. It looks very similar to a stroke and it's about as scary as if you had been diagnosed with a stroke. So this is my story, just in case you wake up one day with Bell's palsy. Showed up at the doctor's office who said, yeah, you're, you're my first patient of the day with some really weird symptoms. <laughs> you don't want to be the guy with those symptoms. So my doctor's a comedian, which is great. It started with a simple pain in my left ear. Two days before going to primary care, I was sensitive to light and sounds with horrible headaches and even strange tastes when eating and drinking. My speech is all jacked up and I look like Quasimodo, so if you don't see me for a while, that's why. Sure enough, my facial paralysis set in, and the initial diagnosis was Bell's palsy. So it can be very frightening, you know, when you um, lose function. Um, you know, we take a lot for granted until we lose it. After bouncing around from PCPs, acupuncturists, and chiropractors, Dr. Nicholas Lannon, a neurologist with Spectrum Health, took on my case. Bell's palsy affects the seventh cranial nerve that basically runs and supplies the movements of our eyelid, our forehead, our uh, mouth. I've got uh, no feeling right here. I, I have lost muscle ability in my upper lip. When I kiss, I go to the right. Oh, happy Valentine's Day, right? The facial nerves become inflamed and much like a bruise, it takes time to reach its peak and even longer to heal, with about 80% of people fully recovering in two to three months. Bell's palsy is hard. There's not like a definitive cure. What we're trying to do is treat inflammation, um, and, and that's why it's important to also get in early. There's signs that um, the earlier we start treatment for Bell's palsy, the better the outcome will be. The condition is named after Sir Charles Bell, a 19th century Scottish doctor and surgeon. Its discovery dates back even further to 9th century Persia. Today, Bell's affects roughly 40,000 people in the U.S. It can happen to anyone at any age for a number of reasons. And the face is so important in terms of eating, communicating. There's social implications even when, when you feel like you have this thing that you almost want to hide from the, the, the public. And that's what I did. I hid from the public, worked from home, focused on my health. And after weeks of documenting my progress, I hope this story can help somebody who's going through something similar. And if that someone is you, you've got this. Keep a positive attitude and let time heal you. Turns out eye patches are a really popular product at the grocery store. Um, anybody who's shown their love to me, their support, their prayers on Facebook, the response was overwhelming. You certainly helped me get through some of the hardest times. If you have any signs or symptoms of facial paralysis, it's definitely time to go to the doctor. I'm Brody Carter, Fox 17 News.